this would be a typical single room and content fire. That's what we're simulating here. It's a uh, one room at a time, something that is, uh, is savable. In a house this big, if we had multiple rooms coming uh, uh, on fire, we would really put people inside. The house is empty. Uh, we'd let it go and attack from the outside. This is your typical interior attack of a fire. Uh, single room and contents where we can get in, we can ventilate, we can get the guys in safely, put it out, and keep it from extending to other parts of the house. So it kind of works out that way. When this thing is, is going with no water suppression on it, the gases get built up so high that they will start to melt the windows and then they'll actually just blow them out. They'll just weaken the windows and the gas has to go somewhere so it finds a easier spot. This is going to be the way. Uh, at first when you see them darken it down a little bit it comes down that they're actually in the hallway coming up up into the hallway into the house then when they're in the actual room you can see now that's all white smoke they're in the room now uh, with extinguishers come on up there stand to the side get a little breath in there man. Come on This is our best training that we can get our hands on, really. These, uh, uh, the people have donated this house to us to use as live fire training. Uh, helps us tremendously. We do it safely, and the guys get a lot out of it. You can't get this training anywhere. So it's, uh, it's very important to us that we can get houses like this and do this. So.